I hope it's at least 12. Oh, oh. to life. That's a... He has oh. not. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. I see what I you did there. Direction. I got you. He oh. stopped recording bloopers already, right? right? That's what he said. I don't know if it's true or not. <clears throat> Goodness. Ooh. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, Josh and I are the only ones here, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, welcome to the Established Facts Podcast. Uh, we're, we are proud to bring you, uh, and I think this is, in general, a very rare thing for most creative ventures. Uh, this is episode 250 of the Established Facts Ooh. Podcast. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't have brought cake, but we ate it on the way. Exactly. Uh, that cake is a lie. Table. Probably would have been a good table dressing is a nice big cake that said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Either wow or why. Why? Yes. Yeah. How? Uh, it's just a big uh, what? question mark. It's just a question what? mark. It's, what? Yeah. Uh, well, again, welcome to the Established Facts. This is episode 250. Sorry, then you cut it's into okay. it and it's meatloaf. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> oh, I would eat that cake. I would too. Second, I would too. The frosting mashed is potatoes. mashed potatoes. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Yes. Oh, and the and the ice then the uh, the it's, letters are in ketchup, right? right. Or gravy, yeah. depending. Yeah. yeah. Gravy. You could do gravy. You could do gravy. Yeah. yeah. And this is how you know that we are all from the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. As long as we get mashed potatoes. Meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, because you got a double starch. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta, yeah, you got a double yes. starch. Just get one starch. That's, the macaroni and cheese is inside the meatloaf, oh, right? You cut it down. Kind of letters up 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 down. Like, oh my god, yes. the macaroni and cheese yes, is inside all of you. Oh, what? Um, what? Yeah. That's how yeah, deep we're going today. Yeah, I don't no, really I, eat mac and cheese anymore. Be the I'm mac- not supposed oh, yeah, to have yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. So welcome to this uh, <laughs> episode of the Established Facts. If you've never joined us for the Established Facts, uh, you've experienced the last 249 episodes <laughs> yes, in a matter of two minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah, great. That'd be yeah, amazing. Uh, so we're gonna go around the table, uh, make introductions real quick, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, I don't know some of our history. We'll talk a little bit about some of our favorite things. Uh, that we've been able to These experience are a few uh, around the history. history. That's right. Uh, and that we'll long. just see. We'll just see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. So like anyway, within ten seconds. Or anything. <laughs> I'm going to start to my left. Since he's, you know, here next. To I me. am it's true. Hi, this is Josh. Hi, this is Princess Katie. I'm Avi Tall. I'm Piercy. Hi, I'm Doctor Deb. That's right, and I, of course, am your host, Big Don. And uh, I, uh, I did want to also make sure that you knew he doesn't have a mic today. But Lance is our, oh, excuse me, my microphone <laughs> wanted to become into it. Uh, Lance uh, is, yeah, not awkward at all. Uh, that's right. Inch closer. <laughs> when the One inch microphones closer. get intimate, uh, Lance <laughs> is in the room. Uh, anyway, the, the man behind our screens uh, taking control of our ones and twos, if you will, wonderful wizard. Uh, is uh, our buddy Lance. Lance Hansel man. Or just Lance. Huzzah. Or Dragon Lance, depending on when Dragon you're Lance. Dragon Lance, that's right. Dragon Lance. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. Awesome. You can call him whatever you want. Just make sure you always call him the guy with the black shirt on. That's right. Because you'll be right about 99.9. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I've ever. 64 days of the year. Correct. 364 days of the year, he go. is 999%. It's a red, it's a red shirt on Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Com- on, on oh, oh, Fourth of July. Time. That's the only deviation. Fourth of July, red, white, and blue. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if Lance could find the deepest, darkest black that actually turned into a black hole, he would wear a shirt of it. That color is called it's called Vanta Black. And That's Anish Kapoor is an awful person. Oh. Truth. Black. Anish Truth. Kapoor, the artist who made True. the bean in Chicago, the Cloud Gate. He's oh. actually a terrible human He's being. He's an awful person. Um, and he is the only yeah. artist legally allowed to use Vanta Black because mm-hmm. it's made from carbon like filament pieces. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's just kind of a, a jerk. So oh. there's this big like drama 100%. in the art world about mm-hmm. him. Yeah. And um, there's a- Stuart Simple. I actually bought his blackest black uh, 4.0. Anyways, so Stuart Simple tries to put pigments back in the hands of the people. So, like, mm-hmm. he has the, um, like, for Photoshop and stuff like that, he has colors that are not copyrighted. He has a Tiff blue that is not Tiffany blue. <laughs> the pink is pink that is not Barbie pink. Like, so people can use them without, like, getting sued by these companies that think they own, own colors. Own colors? So yeah. I say like, Pantone, yeah. all I want, Ex- right? No, of those people. Van- so, <laughs> 
And the, 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 the funny thing about Vanta it's Black forever. I'm just is gonna say Vanta Black every time. Because of time. how black it is, if you it's try and actually use it on anything that's like outside, it will get so extraordinarily hot. Yeah. Oh, you can't not. really actually use it for anything. Yeah. So like So it's, it's a useless It's, it's, fine. it's useless. It's, made it's for only space. good space. Right, it is. It yeah, is yeah. For it's and, for space. And stuff. like art installations and that's that's yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah, it's kinda funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. But yeah, anyways, if you're a Nish Kapoor Boo. Boo you, Anish Kapoor. I'll just Boo. keep going. Or as Jason Black. said, expletive Anish Kapoor. <laughs> expletive you, buddy. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to wear. Is Vanta Black? <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting Black. getting back on topic so from the... Swallow I, the I think that That's if right. I would have known that that was the direction that that was going to go in... I'd have been here for it the whole time. I, I would have totally been You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh, well, if there's one thing that we can guarantee on the established facts, it is a little bit of chaos, or a lot of bit of chaos, yeah. depending on who's at the table. Yeah. Um, so, yes, Lance, uh, back there for us, um, yeah, and then hey. we kind of, yeah. we already went around the table and said hi to everybody. So, that being said, uh, I, first off, uh, would like to introduce, I guess, just a little bit of recognition on where we've been. So, if you haven't been following the established facts for 250 plus episodes, depending on how you chop them up. Um, then what you have missed out on is I, I was just telling them before we got on the mics, I went back and listened to episode one. And of course, you know, we sound like children because 250 episodes is, is uh, for us 12 years. We were children of time <laughs> is what I said. I said, we, just, yes, we were. Yeah. So, it, it was wild. Yeah. And I, Ooh. I, it is remarkable to me that uh, that Doctor Deb and that Josh and myself are still here, <laughs> not from <legally>. episode one. <laughs> uh, I am not. We're all still not. married. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, it's technically true. We are all still married. That's true. But Josh well, decided to marry Deb, and I decided to marry somebody else. Okay, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I was gonna say disappointments in life. <laughs> You just take them and roll. Truth of the legal system of the United States. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I can see Bonnie coming after me. Yeah. Oh, my eyes out. So thank you. I'm yeah. now terrified. That's it. Um, That's it. Um, but we're so, close enough friends that we can still joke like this, which is actually an accomplishment. It right. really is. Uh, so at the top of the episode, I really want to very quickly just kind of shout out uh, some of the folks that we've had on the established facts that maybe they're not regulars. Um, or maybe they're not with us anymore as far as on the podcast. They're, they're still, still alive. alive. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I can't say we've buried a podcast. We have not <laughs> had to bury a podcast. Not yet. Not yet. Not cue, yet. The, cue the monk chants. Cue the monk chants. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <God>. But yeah. <laughs> Lance got you covered over there. Okay. Uh, but I definitely have to shout out uh, our original host, Mike. Yes. Um, Mikey, Mike, Michael. Uh, Mike Mikerson. Mike Mikerson. <laughs> Uh, the Overlord, I believe, as Derek coined uh, in the very first uh, yeah. episode, yes. the, Overlo the Overlord. The Overlord reigns supreme. That's right. Um, uh, Derek Knudsen, uh -huh. uh, our very good friend, um, who now uh, sadly lives in Texas because he's so far away. But uh, we are happy for him and uh, him and Dan. We saw him not uh, that, not too Yeah, they were up here a few months ago. Yeah, they did. Uh, and so we, uh, we love catching up with them. And then uh, we've got uh, Ragar. Yeah. Mm. Uh, rags. Uh, the rags. <laughs> I came up with all sorts of goofy names. Yeah. Uh, in the, earlier days. Uh, definitely uh, an actual true life ninja. Yes. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah. Anton. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who? Thank you, Anton. Um, I don't know if you get a chance to listen to very many of our episodes, but uh, for those of you who don't know, behind the scenes, Anton actually hosts our uh, website. Website. Huh? Uh, and oh, has yeah. for many yeah. years yeah. Now. For a number of years, actually. Uh, yeah, he, I he not know that. Us, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. helped us with a ton of stuff. And when we had storms back in, like, what was it, uh, oh. April, May? Yeah. We had a, a tornado, a couple tornadoes come through the Greenwood area. But well, only took the site Anton, for three yeah, weeks. Yeah, Anton lived in that area. And <laughs> unfortunately, our website was affected. <laughs> uh, um, uh -huh. So shout out and props to Anton. Bless, um, bless me. I'm trying to think... Uh, uh, help yeah. me out, Josh. Who, who oh, else? Oh, my brother, Prime. Yeah. Uh, he still Prime. helps us out with like events and stuff like that. But uh, I think he has stepped away from the microphone. Just he never was a huge fan of like he doesn't. He's he doesn't like to talk. to He's humans. an extrovert who enjoys his introvert time. <laughs> well, I'm still confused. By he it. likes That's talking to people. He does a lot. He yes, he does. He doesn't he like doesn't talking like to talk Mike. On the mic. You're yeah. absolutely right. You're yeah. absolutely right. I think the eye of the camera staring at him probably makes him feel awkward. <laughs> probably. 
Probably. And then, of course, you know, uh, Lance, uh, who Lance, between Lance and Jason, uh, the last six, eight months have been a crazy adventure <laughs> of playing around with video and um, uh, probably a few years uh, past due, but uh, we're enjoying it. We're having a lot of fun with it. And we've got people who are passionate about wanting to help with it, which I, I am extremely appreciative of. I know this man right here mm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, uh, we have uh, Avital, who I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Avital, you were one of the first new hosts after most of the guys who started on our podcast had left. Mm -hmm. I believe I, that's right. Probably. Yeah. Uh, the, the first indie PopCon... Uh, the funny thing about PopCon is in all its years, I have helped every mm -hmm. year. The first year I wasn't on the podcast and I had bought a badge and I still just hung out at still the table That's right. and helped at the table and threw candy at um, our friends across the aisle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Our brother Josh telling me about that Literally. story. Literally. It was, yeah. it was yeah. so much fun. It was. Uh, <laughs> and that was the first time I was on the mics. I don't remember when I was, and that was officially added. More than 10. Because yeah. we missed years. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were you were very yeah, early. Was... One of the, and Lance, I think, was right. Af, was it? Were you right before? Because you guys were. It was close in time. Is really right. Appeared. Yeah, I. I sorry, My bad, I Lance. It together. It's okay. I feel like it was a few months before yours. It wasn't a lot because at that point, okay. we, some of those guys were no hanging idea. out <laughs> doing it, and then we just brought. Or you guys, I don't know. Did we bring you into the fold, or did you invade the fold? I don't yeah. really know which way it went, but. I said I used to work in radio, and you said, "Oh, we have a podcast." No, that's, right. that's uh, nice. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was the invitation. That tracks. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yep. If you couldn't hear that on the mics, Lance said, "I used to work in radio." Oh yeah. We said, "We have a podcast." There you go. And that was it. That was it. Thank it, you, Bobby Tall, for actually, you know, thinking about. Yeah. That. I mean, you're just like responding. I'm like, he doesn't have a microphone. What are you? What are you just doing? A voice. We're all hearing voices. Yes. Yes. They talk to normal. me. They understand. <laughs> they talk nah, to me. It's not. It's not, <laughs> not unusual. No, <laughs> not at all. And then. Um, okay, so my apologies. So Lance <laughs> and then Avital uh, and then Princess Katie, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. And we've had uh, Princess Katie's husband Jake on the show a couple of times. Uh, my wife Bonnie has been on the show a few times. Vanessa's uh, Vanessa been on the has show. been on the yeah. show a few times. That's Lance's wife. Yeah. Um, we've done some actual plays all together and stuff like that, which has been really fun. Uh, and then I guess the newest kid on the block is Jason. What's wow. Uh, That's me. Uh, <laughs> Piercy. I'm a. Right. Not a new kid on the block, but no, <laughs> just the newest kid on our block. That's uh, that's 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 my that's my husband. That's right. You see, she oh, brought oh, bring oh. the spouses anyway. on. You see that? Right? Yeah. Yes, I am. So and, are you? Uh, that's nice. Are you director? Are you co-producer? I lose track of what your titles are. A part. <laughs> He's just Piercy. He is. He is the Piercy cog in the machine <laughs> that is the establishment. Right. That's it. That's okay. perfect. That's yes. a perfect way to put it. Yes. See, I want to have like credits rolling at the end of this with like oh. goofy titles. Titles for everybody. Oh well, yeah. I mean, we can do that. I, yeah, you, yeah, they do that. Like, Josh does not want to do yeah. that. They just work. Work. Thank Thank stuff I don't have to. I just Piercy. I need. I need this. Please. Yeah. 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 Done. Yeah. Here you yeah. go. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. We can. Do but that. AEW does that we with the names that. underneath. They just put the silliest things underneath. Yeah, but they're under they're a multi do lower thirds with our. Yes, I think they should do lower thirds. Company. We are a free podcast. It's pretty easy to do. We're we're a bunch of friends in Josh's house. I will create the ideas, and then I'm sure that my my colleague. I can make all of Deb's lower thirds dreams come true. Oh, hearts and flowers. Dreams, but okay. Just says like Big Don host. Yeah, yep. that's it. Yep. That's all you need for you. Host and mm -hmm. uh, what is my t uh, my tag at, at work? Host and yeah. uh, once once a month donut provider. Oh, and yeah, once a month donut. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. That's an important role. When it I, is. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, and it's a self in in uh, appointed role. They do have holes in it, but Doctor Deb, who's a real doctor yeah. underneath, Dr. actual Deb. doctor, an actual doctor, actual doctor, actual, actual, actual Doctor Deb, actual yeah. Doctor Deb, Doctor yeah, Deb. Anyway. No, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh. Uh, Producer and actual nerd. <laughs> <laughs> actual that's Josh. Master Masters. <laughs> Master Josh. That's what they yeah, Dr. Right. Demery, actual doctor. Josh Demery, just a master's degree. <laughs> that's beautiful. We can do this. <laughs> 3.65 <laughs> 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 yeah. GPA. We're doing like, his job for sure him. <laughs> This so, sounds great. Who plays oh fourth gosh. in high school? Let's... The place fourth in high school. There it is. I had a friend that did that on purpose. Just so you know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So they wouldn't have to 
talk? Yes, it was Ward. <laughs> right. So he it would was not, Ward. Yeah, that was makes Ward. so much uh, sense. Yeah. So he wouldn't have to give a speech or right. anything. He's like, I need to be, this is what I'm going to get on my GPA. I'm like, you're smarter than all of these people. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> so smart. Like, I, I like, know exactly I where to aim. I don't exactly want to what do I want. any of that. I was like, oh. and here she's like, I'm excited. They handed me paper. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm not dumb. I, I just not. don't. I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> That's Absolutely. a big thing. How much do you care? Hey, I had the exact same reaction. Yeah. I was like, sweet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, good. I'm, I'm done. done. <laughs> I'm done with all this. And I Thank just you. kept going. Yeah. And kept <laughs> going. Yeah, I, I was back. a flipping Energizer bunny. Yeah. He did back. go back. That's true. And he learned how, all this stuff that's helping us out now. Yeah, Look at it. this. That's it. Are we talking about the podcast still? Yeah, we're talking basically. about the okay. we're talking the about people on the podcast. I guess that's true. Maybe oh, that's maybe how it the is. People that's behind right. the podcast. That's right. So, um, so Katie actually uh, inadvertently happened to say something that triggered a, a core memory of oh. established facts lore. Okay. Um, but when we started this podcast, uh, it was with the intent that we always sat and we tell people this all the time. We always sat around the table or sat around in the living room. We talked about like our favorite games. Or we talked about like actual game theory. If you, if you ever see us at a convention and you want to talk about like serious, exactly what you see. yeah, this is 100% what yeah. you see. Just <laughs> what you see random what you hyped up caffeinated adults who <laughs> like to play pretend. Except I, with a I, lot of nerd abilities in a lot of different yeah. areas. I yeah, do the opposite true. of caffeination so that I'm not as high. Yeah, a little, <laughs> bit of a down, a little bit of a downer. A little bit of a downer. We're, down. we're trying to find the balance. <laughs> Aren't trying we all? Balance. If, you, if you see me at a convention, you will not see this because I will be in cosplay. <laughs> yeah, <you'll be> in <laughs> cosplay. That's true. That's legit, She too. hides in plain sight. That's she right. does. That's so right. You know. um, but the purpose for this podcast originally was because we wanted to celebrate our interests as... Uh, nerds and geeks and thing, you know, get into the things that we are really passionate about, especially when it came to gaming. And we thought, well, this would be a really silly idea. Let's stick some mics in the middle of the room and just talk. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is the idea actually came from a conversation that I had with a guy who, I mean, I'm going to give kudos to, but has never actually been on our podcast. We, we have That's invited so him true. a million times. He's been invited over Wait, and who? over. Yeah, you so, don't even know him. So yeah, our friend, true. our friend Josh Wooten. Hi Woot. If you uh, watch this episode, wait, is he like skinny with a mustache? No, no, no. that's okay. That's, that's a different. Phil, that's, that's probably Mike. Josh. If you met the Elite Encounters crew with me, yeah, 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 yeah. Overwatch, Overwatch. their guy using the, the all the tech guy, the the me for okay. them. Yeah, that that's was Josh, Josh Wooten. Wooten. Oh, that's the other that okay. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's well, the yeah, Josh he's, of that he's podcast. Their, he's their yeah, he's the Josh of their. Podcast. Yep, that's funny. <laughs> it's absolutely wow. Okay. Every podcast needs a Josh. That's a fact. But only. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yep. It is. One that's, is all you need. What is so true? It's okay. There can be only one per podcast. <laughs> that, that, there, there can be only that's one. Why, that's why one Prime just podcast. goes Prime. I yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm not Josh. There can only be one. We, yeah. knew, we knew we wanted to succeed, so we made sure we doubled it. Episode. Yes. Figure this out. <laughs> um, just in case a rift opened and we lost one. <laughs> Which we had. We do have a black happen. table. Hey, Josh has been consumed. Yeah. Vanta. Vanta Black. I See? wish it was a Vanta Black See? table. Uh, mm -hmm, I do. Uh, <laughs> so I was having a conversation with Josh Wooten in 2009. Holy schmoly. We went to lunch and he started talking about, and this was right as kind of the wave of podcasting had really started to become a phenomenon. And we're sitting in the car driving back from our lunch break when we worked at uh, Dish Network together. I remember that. And oh he was like, you know, I've been thinking about starting like an online radio station. And I was like, dude, that'd be cool. Like you could start an online radio station and just have like friends on and then like talk about the things that you're really into. And he was like, yeah, that sounds neat. I was like, well, what do you think you're talking about? He's like, I don't know. And I was like, what if you did like, like just talked about gaming mm -hmm. and like talked about different realms of game, like legitimately had this just very silly... <laughs> Very lighthearted conversation. A year later, two, two years later, two years later, I get uh, a text message or an email or something like that from you and from Mike Massey, our original host, mm -hmm. asking if I'd be interested in being a part of a gaming podcast. And I was like, dude, that sounds awesome. Let's do this. And then I find out that Josh Wooten shared the idea with you guys. And then all of a sudden it started happening. And I was like, that is the craziest origin story I can think of. 
that of course 12 years ago so there's a lot more that have come. <laughs> there's a lot more yeah. crazy. Um, but it was just so funny like how you know i'm gonna give props to josh like josh was the one who got the ball rolling with the right people to pull the trigger on 12 years of podcasting and here we are. Uh, band together man that's it that's it <laughs> right. and it, i kid you not we have invited him to our show Multi- for the last 12 years <laughs> yes and he has never been and that's okay like the thing is it's sometimes hilarious. you need a silent partner right yeah. i feel you like if we're, if we're ever gonna interview the folks at elite encounters which i love oh, we all love my can we just just josh in? no no <laughs> the opposite everybody else right except, and, except <laughs> josh. And that, that, would like a mic that would be amazing that would be amazing he can just voice over everything <laughs> He's not actually the there. Bear. Yes, I feel like that's how you do that. Oh my that's god! No, but I love then it. well, you do you do a trade, right? Like, oh, right? You guys yeah. interview Elite Encounters, yeah. right? And, Josh and then we go there. on their show, and, and that's the only all place. Monsters. That's the only place <laughs> yeah. it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> give up the Josh's. Uh, oh, we oh, can have a Josh it's negotiation. It's a paradox. A oh, Josh my paradox. Josh swap. A pair of Josh swap. A pair of Josh. A pair of Josh. There it is. Okay. Boy, we're we got all sorts of good stuff. Now we're, we, now we're just one of Josh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Goodness gracious. So, uh, again, as you can see, we've been doing this for quite some time, and we're just kind of opening up and, and wanting to celebrate with, with – the six of you, eight of sorry, eight of you. No, eight, we're 13. 13. Nine, we're 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Tony Khan was number 13. Right. We're oh, kids. okay. That's right. What? Ooh, lucky That's 13. Right. The, well, 13 the 13 of you that watch. listen to yeah, us. Yeah, because and if, you, oh. if you subscribe to both the established facts and the stable, it's all through the established facts. So we know that we've gotten at least five listeners on yeah. the stable. So that's 13. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome numbers. Yeah. And if it's you're not more from... than that, by the way. It's, we have yeah, oh, yeah. over 400 Facebook followers and over 100 subscribers to the Google Podcast. And I a think lot. we're close to 100. On Twitter, <laughs> what is on a lot of people numbers. overcompensate. Look. We undercompensate. <laughs> we, we do. We're and mo- most of our listeners are not Russian bots. That's true. <laughs> most of them. Quality. Usually because we ask them you get a free raffle ticket at PopCon. It's right. so true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's we, okay. are not, we are not above bribery, nor no. are we beneath it. We just hang no. out. We right just don't do it with money. I mean, that, no. I mean, bribery is how our government has worked for the last 60 years. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no disagreement. <laughs> it's a political. No, no, oh, no, no disagreement. That is a political. That's very, it's just the government. That's not a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank and you if you paid me, we all agree. Agree. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, Opportunity. If it, over the sixty years, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> just part and parcel. Like <laughs> I know. As, like how much over sixty years? <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll try it. Next I'll try show. it once. I'll try anything once. <laughs> I'll try anything. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we wanted to share with you, uh, now that we kind of talked a little bit about our background and uh, just kind of, you know, you again, you've gotten to see the ADD antics of <laughs> this podcast. And what, honestly, uh, I have to say, what has made it such a an incredible opportunity uh, for me as a host, stepping in where uh, Mike had started uh, and taking over those reins. And Joshy stepping in every once in a while when I, when I can't make it for whatever reason. Usually it's family, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, but I, I can honestly say that the intentional nature of this, this podcast got us through a ton of really rough times, especially like during COVID and things like that. We weren't able to get together as often as we wanted to. And so being able to come back to the table and get behind the microphone and start talking to each other again as friends and spend time together, which is why you see a lot more actual plays from us now is this. It's an intentional time for us to sit down for 45 minutes to an hour and play a game. together. That's right. That's I mean, legitimately, the podcast started with the intention of us getting together, uh, hoping that other people would hear what we were talking about and enjoy it. As a matter of fact, that's how uh, Lance uh, got kind of mixed into this group was he he was listening to us and we would have side discussions when we were all just hanging out and then got on now that i'm thinking about that like that is definitely how lance got involved was he was already involved involved. it really was i mean he was already involved he was, yeah, he he was, was giving, giving notes in between shows. He was basically our production uh, director from the beginning. From the beginning. He did, from, create, he always did create a drinking game for us, he too. He did. That we have did. not yet done. We will that's publish an the rules dark. for those. We'll publish the rules, yeah. That, that would, I mean, that that's a good idea. That after dark, <laughs> he, he, it's all Lance. He came up yeah. with the idea. Yeah. And uh, actually, well, that's that's yet to come. Anyway, it has to do with. Yeah. So, for the discussion portion of our podcast, 
I thought it would be fun, uh, and we kind of all tried to brainstorm, and, and uh, I thought it would be fun for us to talk about some of our favorite moments. What I'd like to try and do, this is an attempt, we'll see if it works or not. <laughs> Uh, it is an experiment of some kind, but I would like to open up a discussion on like a favorite topic, and we'll talk about it around the table, get everybody's opinion. Very similar to like when our when we do our versus topics, we'll just kind of go around and get like a quick snapshot of what everybody's um, favorite thing is, and then I'm going to pass it over to you, Joshi, and then Joshi's going to introduce a new discussion topic on a favorite thing, and it could be related or it could be completely off the wall, um, but just some of the experiences that we've had over the last 12 years of podcasting over the last 250 uh, episodes uh, of of the established facts uh, so I am going to um, I'm gonna open up the first discussion question on what has been uh, each of you's favorite um, or or I'll even take because we were having a slight discussion before uh, one of your most memorable, maybe most memorable uh, is a little bit better than favorite. Um, uh, but what is one of your most memorable uh, discussion topics for the established facts? Uh, and if you can't think of one, it's okay. You can always pass. Uh, no stress, no stress. Um, but I will go ahead and start and say one of my favorite discussion topics, uh, and of course it was very shallow, uh, as I am, but... <laughs> <laughs> it, it was when Joshi and I got into our heated discussion. I think it was like episode 12 <laughs> of Xbox versus PlayStation. <laughs> because Josh is a Sony guy and Don is a Microsoft guy. And don't get me wrong. We play both systems we did, yep. all the time. All the time. But I was there for this. It was, okay. it was Let me like, sh- right. It's like Crash Bandicoot versus Master Chief kind of <laughs> level of just silliness. Yeah. And who won video game madness? Oh, Mario. oh, Mario! Yeah, yeah. The third party. That we didn't... Thanks, Deb. Um, you're welcome. The third party that we I didn't say, take in again. You're welcome. <laughs> so, but I, for me, that's probably one of my favorites or one of my most memorable discussions because it's literally. The, it's not like the debate has ever stopped. <laughs> we just wanted to highlight it for an episode. You're still wrong. That's, tr- <laughs> that's right. That's true. It's true. It hasn't stopped because I'm, I'm pretty sure one went it's out in the market. Tr- yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean that they stopped arguing. Something. Really? Yeah. Clarify. Huh. Yeah. Clarify. That's surprising. That yeah, they're, Microsoft yeah. and PlayStation, they're still making Sony stuff. still outsells Microsoft consoles two to one while that's Microsoft what I, that's makes I mean. more money. That's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's weird. <laughs> Microsoft no, makes more money no, it's, they have a de- they have a big have it's a different Microsoft? footprint. Yeah. It's a different <laughs> footprint. You're just gonna bring that up again, get the blood pressure going. I'm just out. saying, I'm just saying <laughs> this is why I love it because it's literally the silliest thing in the world. <laughs> it, uh, is. it is. It is the it silliest thing. It doesn't die. In the world. Yeah. Um, uh, the discussion between Star Trek and Star Wars that we got into with Deb at one oh. time was pretty good too, well, but not nearly as heated. No. No. Because I, I had a. I am Deb balance twitching. Of I had a very. Well, I had a, a very funny uh, thing, 30 second anecdote. Somebody walked into my office the other day and saw a couple of Star Wars. Uh, pop figs on my desk and they were like all right star wars or star trek you got to choose one i said no i don't i'm an adult (laughs) (laughs) i don't have to choose correct answer they're both mine yes (laughs) Yes. anyhow joshy i'm gonna pass it over to you sir uh for favorite discussion topic or different topic i mean whatever you want no i'm I'm we're gonna make up the rules that's fine so what we've always done my favorite i probably think my favorite discussion uh actually spanned quite a few episodes and i know it was early on uh, but our alignment episodes mm. were were so good, amazing. Of you stole mine. Oh you my god! Was yeah. I, you never I, said I had to be here for it. That's true. That's very true. Which is great. Oh, that's so true. Because here's the interesting thing: I liked those so much, and with the Pathfinder remaster, and with the um, the you know one D and D coming around, and the possible removal of alignment in role playing coming soon. Uh, I would love to revisit those. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I not sure. I, I'm kind that, of with Jason. I'm. I'm. That's I'm why I want to revisit sure them because <laughs> I think they're important. And if they're gonna go away, I don't want people to forget about them. But will they really so, go away? But Does anything really go away in games? No. <laughs> oh, 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 that's another discussion topic. But oh, <laughs> when we went through those different alignments chaotic neutral is to this day oh, one of the most chaotic episodes we ever did 
it was the chaotic neutral episode. Yeah. It was, it was one of the few defined by its title. It was. Uh, the chaotic neutral episode was the chaotic neutral episode. Yes. 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 Uh, we were it was wild. There was should have been on that episode. There was synergy. <laughs> there was such a long which, time why ago. Why we redo that? Yeah, That's we have, why my we have such a different redo them. Right. We have such a different cast. Our dynamic is very different now than what that dynamic was. We thought that like when we first started today and we talked about oh the chaos order was like, yeah, let's do a <laughs> So what's everyone's alignment? Uh-huh. Okay. But hey, not, that's that not down. for now. That's, that's not for that's today. Sure. That's not for well, today. Well, see, in our, we are hoping to do individual <laughs> interviews with the hosts, and that could be a great uh, question. Yeah, fair, fair. What is your what alignment? Is your alignment? Is um, a good one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, the exploration... Well, <laughs> your alignments are high. <laughs> Indiana Rhodes will do that to you. <laughs> that's so true. The exploration of the different alignments and their mentalities between... Uh, staying true to your good or evil side of things versus staying true to being neutral or law and finding that balance point. It was, it was very interesting to talk about, especially for those of us that were just learning about podcasting and what it meant to continue the conversation, what questions to ask. But I want to hear, I want to talk about it again. And if it's yeah. repeat, I don't care. It's our podcast. It we won't do be that. a repeat. Yay. We are 12, 11 years later in our lives. Well, very and, different yeah, people. And we have different. a very different setup now. And, and again, with everything that's happened when gaming. Compared to the cast that we had then, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a, also, we also have, yeah. you know, we have three OGs and, and a lot of new opinions. Yeah, absolutely. So. No, I write that write that down. You, you're the one with he the He is paper. writing it down. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alignment right. revisit. Okay. Just make Princess sure. Katie. Um, so when I get asked questions like this, my brain forgets every piece of information it's ever held. <laughs> um, and I can't remember a single discussion topic we've ever had besides, like, I think the one that we had a few months ago about, would you rather host a game night or, you know, go to somebody else's? And that's uh-huh. definitely not my most memorable one. It's just the only one my brain can pick out. Right now, so I'm going to pass. <laughs> And pass like turn. It. Oh, no, I you're like holding it. your action. So you're just good. holding your action. <laughs> Writing my action for when I remember what I was trying right. to say. Yeah, no, when, when, when I get put on the spot, my brain is like a sieve, and it's just like, yeah, we don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you talking <laughs> words? Does it sound like that, too? No thoughts, just vibes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Like All right, Avital, what are you uh, saying? Before, I, before that... What I was saying before we were really being recorded about picking favorites, me personally, uh, I like never pick favorites for a variety of reasons. One of those reasons is that I'm just indecisive. Another one of those reasons is that I know how my brain works with my ADHD and hyperfixations. However many years ago, I was, like, really into Twilight, right? Yeah. Would I I have said that was, like, my favorite book series at the time? I don't know. Even back then, I probably still didn't pick favorites, right? But, oh, oh, and you you asked about, like, you mentioned something about favorite streamer or something like that. And you were like, Markiplier, and I was like... Yeah, I like Markiplier, but he's not. Right. I wouldn't say he's my favorite because my brain has moved on from Markiplier. Sure. And that makes Sorry, sense. Markiplier. No, that was so last sense. year. You're totally going to see this episode. I know you are. Yeah, absolutely. But- <laughs> if Markiplier starts watching the show, Markiplier, I will do anything for money. <laughs> okay, not anything. Any? Uh, any? Any? Ooh, uh, most. That thing. went. Uh, <laughs> anything? Legal. Anyways. I mean. So, thoughts, Avi Tom, yeah. before yeah, they come uh, But. Train wreck us. And also, like Katie, I tend to just forget things, especially when I'm put on the spot. ADHD is also a memory affecting mental condition, whatever, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. Memory is, is absolutely terrible. But I remember back when, like, I was more starting to hang out with you guys and everything. Um, I I was started listening to the podcast uh, from the beginning just. Because it was your guys' thing and I wanted to support you. Um, and I was at that point still like really, really new to like role playing and stuff like that. And and so I really liked the alignment episodes because like I just had no experience with any of that, right? And you know, again, for me, I liked that series for obviously a different reason than you liked doing the series. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was just learning yeah. things. Yeah. Right. And I was like, oh, okay, I can't, that makes a little more sense now. 
it might have been after like we, I, we like made my first character but then or maybe right around the same time I don't know but I was just like all right I, I kind of get this a little more now things are still kind of confusing sometimes but you know it's yeah, and I also still don't know. on the group you're playing with is a how confused, confusing they are. True. <laughs> I also don't know what my real life alignment, alignment would be. Although all the quizzes that I take say that I'm lawful good, but I'm like, yeah. depends on the law. <laughs> well, We're not going to talk about that. Out. We're not going to talk about that. It might come up again. I made everyone again. in my entire department at work take an alignment test. <laughs> I did. I was like, hey, guys, look what we're doing just for fun. And I sent out a, a group-wide email to everybody in my work. And I was like, we're all going to do this. And they're like, why? And I was like, just for funsies. Just for so fun. Because like, I need to know. So like legit, right? When a bunch of lawful evil people run a fictitious nation <laughs> and you have lawful good people in that nation, they're also not going to follow those laws that the evil people make because they hurt people. Right. Yeah. So exactly. That doesn't mean yeah. lawful doesn't necessarily hold out over the. Yeah, that's the. That's also evil. where the. Um, you want to change those laws sometimes. The you definition of anyway. lawful yeah. good a becomes conversation again. shady. So yeah. We probably need to make sure totally. we talk about right. it right. later. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, sure. I'm going to start putting check marks next to it. <laughs> okay, Jason. <laughs> I'll stop. No, you're fine. It you're was good. Great. You're good. It's great. Because that uh, means that you actually you were listening and it mattered. So to me, remembering that episode now, literally years later, to know that it helped and you remember it, like that just gives me all sorts of warm fuzzies, actually. That's like, that's amazing. <laughs> all right. Favorite, favorite discussions? Discussion. Sure. Topic. There was a there was a um, a discussion because I you know I I will be honest I haven't listened to all the past stuff I'm a very much the now is the now and the past okay, the past person. <laughs> Great, That's yeah, fine. me either. Um, there was a discussion that we had maybe oh, last year. Um, it was about playing at the table. Yeah, and playing with each other and agency and how to uh, help you know, your friends at the table play and what's on, what's off of that. It was something around that topic, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure that was my favorite discussion because we really got into what makes it fun for people, you know, and different strokes for different folks, right? Some people just want to sit there and roll dice mm -hmm. and it's just a dungeon crawl to them. And that's cool. You like that? You like that. Some people want to... Um, really get into storytelling what they've done and they don't care so much about rolling dice right and there's everything in between there and it was just a it was a really awesome discussion that we had i, th I think i remember that yeah i like it i like it all right deb mine's so hard because i've got because i'm the i'm a fence sitter right i've got two that was part of the discussion too. yeah it was exactly <laughs> it was in there you're welcome see there yeah, we're yeah. already doing a callback so i've got two and they're for completely opposite reasons because welcome to dr deb's brain so one of them is fairly recent it was and i know you guys are gonna be like really it was the dumpster fire episode when we discussed <laughs> what happened with hasbro and the reason i mattered is not as much it was a dumpster fire but because we were all so passionate about what this could mean for the gaming us mm. personally like it mattered to each of us individually it mattered to us in the whole the universe that is gaming because it it because it had a huge impact in a variety and we're still feeling the ripple effect from it all this time later and just how passionate we were about what have you what are you doing to our game now it's not it's not my game personally what it was in that moment and it was jason's game in that moment yeah. it was all of us of that you yeah that community so there was like a unity of back to back or that when I mean, it's just we form a line and be like you have trespassed and you are getting back kind of attitude and that was a neat feeling because as unique as all gamers are it can be sometimes hard to get us all on the same page mm -hmm. because we're all very different people and in that moment there was the sense of unity of oh no you don't um so i loved that but for completely different reasons i've always loved our discussions with tracy hickman and even the most recent one where he's talking about and i get a thumbs up from lance yeah that's right i got thumbs up from lance where he was sharing about the projects that he's working on now and the depth that he brings to our conversations because we're all we've all got different levels of experience in gaming but nothing compared to his and being able to delve into 
his memories of what he's done and yet that he's still in a creative zone now it's inspiring it's fascinating it's it's interesting i mean he can it is story time with tracy like i'll just sit there and i'll just listen to uncle tracy talk and i'm just happy as a clam so i always love that he his life can bring to our conversations and to the podcast such a depth and it can go in so many directions um because of how much he's experienced so each one of those has really meant a lot. And the fact that he was willing to do it virtually with us recently, um, he still meets with us in person when he can, is an incredible honor. Like we're, we're this little podcast and this is Tracy Hickman here and he still really enjoys talking with us. And that just- That's just because that, we're family. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Point, we just yeah, adopted him. Point, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say, Uncle he's, Tracy. I, he's uh, adopted us, we've adopted him. Yeah, that's just it, how it works. That's it's a mutual it adoption. It is. Yeah, absolutely. So. It's found, found family. Found yeah, family. Yeah, found sure. family. That's right, Lance. Okay. Um, Deb, you were uh, the last in the order because I actually started this discussion. Um, do you have an idea on what you'd like, what door you'd like to open into our discussion? Oh, oh. see, I don't know how how big a... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, do do what you do. Do what you do. No limits. Oh, no, no. Oh, well, oh. I mean, we do have about oh. 10, 15 minutes left. So there's some... Yeah, so no limit. limits. <laughs> um... A f I would like to know if, hmm, if someone, I don't think you guys would be able to do it. I don't think you'll do it. I, I don't think that you would do, do it. it. I want to know what your favorite board game oh. ever. Okay. Ever. 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 Like this, wow. that you can have ever. You can have it when you were three. You can have it. You played it last night. Uh, ever. If you, So if you could only have one game on your deserted island that you're on to take with you forever, board game. Which one would it be? I'll go first. Oh, oh. Pass. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See, there we go. And Katie's probably going to, and I've forgotten every board game that I ever played for the rest of my life. The pass out game? Yeah, that may, there no. we go. <laughs> I pass. And she says, no, thank you. I'm done. And Katie's like, <laughs> I've never heard of the game in my life. I don't no, know. No, it's that kind of stuff I can think of. But okay. like when it comes to like, like the, the podcast, uh -huh. like I can think of like, Five episodes. Sweet. <laughs> like the the very first one I was ever on was Thanksgiving of 2012, I think. Okay. Um, the first interview I ever was on with Tracy Hickman, which was my first Gen Con, mm -hmm. okay. and the last interview we just did with Tracy Hickman, and then today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today. But do you but, have a favorite board game? Yes, I, I do have a favorite board Go game, it. and it's um, it's so silly. It's uh, it's a dice game, and it's called Sharpshooters. Uh huh. And it is a game that we played when I was a little kid. My parents had it. It's like a, you get this card and it has like these dice combinations and you have to fill them out to get chips. It's probably too much gambling for a small child, <laughs> but it's a very oh, you know. gambling game. But that was Skills. like one of the first board games I ever played. And my dad was big into Axis and Allies back in the day. Him, yeah. and, him and his friends would leave it set up over a weekend on the kitchen table. See, but I knew I'd like to. That was, that was like the first not little kid game that I ever played. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Monopoly. It wasn't Life. It wasn't Clue. It was like, <coughs> there's strategy to this. And you have to, I can't remember all the rules now. I just remember I loved playing that game. And I loved like the betting aspect of it so much. Yes. So, nice. like, that's, I think, my first, like, real, like, big kid board game I ever played. And yeah. that helped cultivate the giant collection I have at home. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. There you I go. love it. All right. Who else has got one at the surface? Uh, Catan. Catan. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. Catan. Yes. I like, I love that game. I have all kinds of good memories of playing it with friends, being at each other's throat. Also, just... Not caring, beer, beer and pretzel Catan is super yeah. fun. Oh, or, oh, yeah, somebody just won today. Cool, let's start over again. Let's and do like, it all over again. Have another, you know, whatever, True. right? Absolutely. It's, it's a fun game, I think. Oh, it's, I mean, it's a classic for a reason. Yeah. I mean, I've cool. never played that game mm -hmm. ever. You need to have an actual yeah. plan due to Catan then. Yeah. yeah. Well, remember, Avital does not prefer competitive games. Right. Okay, well, then maybe she watches and, and laughs at us as we play competitively. <laughs> it is a thing. <laughs> Points and laughs. Okay. You know, I, I, I've played quite a few games, and I know Don has too, and I'm sure he's rifling through his set to try and find one right now. Mm. You mentioned the family thing. Monopoly was one of the first games I ever played. I hate that game to this day. <laughs> I will yeah, play it again. Same. I will play it as the extrovert that I am. Um, right. Not, but it's just, 
It is not my number one pick. And I wanted to say Zombicide. I did. I absolutely love the Zombicide series. But to, I'm going to be real. The Red Dragon Inn yeah. is the most entertaining I think I have had at a game in so many years. Yeah. It is so fun, especially with all the allies and characters that have come out nowadays. Red Dragon Inn all day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is a that's a really good choice. So you talk about the the game where you like you play your drinks and whatever. Yeah. Yes. Whatever. Yeah. Drink. That's a board game. I would, no, yeah. absolutely. It's a tabletop card game. Yeah. I mean, I would consider. There's a, a card. Okay, there's that's a the reason that I didn't choose it because I was. There's a oh, board. Oh, there's right. a board. You technically you have. Guess, everybody yeah, has a, that's true. You, you each have, have your little board. board. There's a board. I'm sorry. Grace. That is a definition that I don't think is worth yeah. getting into. Card yeah, game board. Yeah, there's a weird. Yeah, it's there is literally a board, and then you have your own board just because you have cards. It's a board. But I do see what you're saying. Not a board game to me. By the purity of the definition. How is that a board game? But I would have said because not everyone is sharing the same. Because I love that game. It is awesome. Yeah. I would, I would say, uh, I would say, it wouldn't be a card game. Is there also a main board? A card game is like no, apples. No, no there's it's, not. It's, all, it's basically all cards. You can cards play against humanity, board. apples to apples. Some... Things that are strictly only cards yeah, are only true. Cards. But they're still board games. They're, they're, That's it. No, no, no. They are tabletop Definitely games. Future top. They are tabletop games. <laughs> yeah, they are tabletop games. I, say, I, I would say Red Dragon Inn goes out of the realm of card game and into board game because you do have your own player board with your like trackers. Yeah. There's like the markers stuff. and stuff. I it's would not say that, yes. just purely a handful of cards. Yeah, but I can that? gamble you out of your game. I so like, I don't chaos. know, man. That feels like a card game to me. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, it's, it Listen is an awesome game. Chaos. I do love it. Card games are just cards. <laughs> it's so much All right, Deb, what's yours? Board game, okay, because <laughs> now I'm scared. Oh no, actually no. Yeah, you should um, be. Yeah, no. I, wish I, should. Look, I started it. Why is that what I have an opinion on? <laughs> I started it. It has. Uh, it has. You really think? Uh, is is it the thing that's sitting behind us, which is the game I never get to oh. play mm -hmm. because it takes so long to play? So I'm gonna give it an honorable mention because I love playing the war game. But it's an enormous game. It is literally the world's largest game. That it, does is matter. that its legal name? Yeah, the it's war called game. the war game. The war yeah. game. World War Two. Yeah, it's just called huh. the war game. Yeah, yeah that's, you see it right there. The war game. Okay. Colon, world War Two. Dude, I remember when I first like came into the friend group and they were talking about Deb's gonna set up for the war game. And I was like, oh, what's the war game? And they're like, it's this thing that takes up the entire table for yeah. like an entire weekend. And I was like, wow, yeah. that's a lot. And I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I can never get that many people pick. to invest 72 hours of their life yeah. to be able to play this game. I'm but down. it's still back there. And it is a weapon if I ever need to use it because dear Lord, it could like really, really hurt somebody. Okay, so it gets honorable mention because I haven't gotten to play it for a long time. So my favorite is actually, go ahead and, and laugh at me, is Clue. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Clue yeah. is lovely. Because I remember being, as so a kid, you know, right when I'm starting to start to play games, my dad had, I won't bring it out because you laugh at me, but my dad's game of Clue is down here. I inherited awesome. it. Um, and it was like the 1960s. He was born in 55, that's so I think awesome. it was the 60s. And that's how I learned to play Clue on. Aww. And so yeah, I played against him and my mom, and then my brother Chris wanted to play, and it was solve the puzzle, right? Um, so, Sonia, you're trying to solve the puzzle first. And I, to this day, the, the puzzle game, solve it, whether we're solving it together, we're solving it separately. I still love those kind of games. So I would play Clue like all the time if anybody ever wanted to play Clue with me. It's a fun game. <laughs> it I have a Doctor Who Clue that, we've played, that I played like once. Doctor yeah. Clue. Doctor Clue? I, was like, no, uh, Doctor yeah. I would Clue. totally play Doctor Clue. Yes. Well, anyway, <laughs> but that's I mean that's an oldie. I mean that's 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 an oldie. That's the, yeah. that's oh, the only way Deb, one. The only way Deb will approve changing the manner is if it has a theme on it. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. Otherwise, leave the the ballroom. Still needs to be the ballroom. Yeah. yeah. The billiard room. The, the new clue boards are so weird. Oh, yeah. I also Bless played you. on the old ones. Like, oh, no way. It's, so it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. The, the yeah. Right. I'm going to put it right in the middle. The I mean, same. I still just have the Doctor Who, and I have another version. I forget What's what version the it is. But it's, it's like when people super try to change yeah. games that are tried and true often. Firefly. It somehow gets worse. Yes. I completely agree. That could be another. Oh. Or D and D. Yeah, what? I have, oh, I have oh, looked I see into. What you did there. There's been so many different I versions of Candyland. The one that I played was like, a, like I looked, it was like a couple versions in. The newer ones, I'm just like, no, like twitching, like, <laughs> oh, makes her. What is this? Why didn't like, they, why didn't they change it? I didn't realize they changed it. Like the art is so different. Like. And they take some things out and put more. some things back in. I don't know why. They just yeah. figure like, oh well, capitalism, the old thing, yeah. old thing yeah. isn't going to appeal. Uh, so and also, you know, uh, 
well, there's all these people already own Candyland, so... Let's make uh, a new one. That's why there's 150,000 Monopolies. Correct. Yeah. Monopoly the, kind of was smart all of which a long time garage. ago. Just like, <laughs> they license out to a bunch of them, or let a bunch of things license them and then like make Monopoly in their own way. But it's still, the base game is still Monopoly always. Right. It's just, yeah. right. Park Place isn't Park Place. Now it's like, you know, Mario's house or something. I don't know. Yeah, or like exactly. the Death Star. Koopa Island. Whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, exactly. Start with, every time. Whatever. Every time I play one of those fancy new Monopolies, can I fess up and go, in my mind, it's still Baltic. It's still yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. still yeah. St. Charles. I don't care if you call oh. it Tatooine. Nope. Right. That is still... I what... own Tatooine. I own Tatooine. <laughs> you you, you want to hear no. a Monopoly-related <laughs> memory the huts. that is actually a good memory that I have? I do. Yeah. Is um, going to the boardwalk in Atlantic City and like seeing all of the street names and everything that I recognize from Monopoly. Oh, oh that's cool. Cool. that was really cool. Yes. Like oh, we visited cool. there when I was a kid. I that was cool. super cool. Ooh, like, it's something something similar to that. So the neighborhood that I grew up in was called Park Place. <gasps> and the first time I ever played Monopoly, I was like, look, guys, they made a spot named off our neighborhood. That's amazing. But parents that's are like, so adorable. kiddo, that's not that's that's not quite, but. You know what? You can believe it. I, you can I believe was, it. I was in your this mind. close. Like, <laughs> this. <laughs> so cute when you're stupid. No. I, you know what? It's adorable. No, no. It's adorable. It's yeah, naive. Exactly. It's so, adorably so naive, so not stupid. Oh, I love it. It is bliss. I but it's bliss. It. All right, Don. Oh. At, we're and, almost at the end. And we are we? Yours. Oh, wow. Uh, chess. Oh, that yeah. Lance, 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 Lance said, Lance, 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 Lance all about chess. chess. You know we what? Gotta, we got to yes. play some time. We do. Yes. Uh, we got to play some time. You got yes. chess? Absolutely. Yeah. I play chess. <laughs> I play chess. Really? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Who <laughs> plays <laughs> chess? You what? No, Lance plays chess. Who else? I have, I have a chess board in Here's my, in my house. Chess. Like, I play no, chess. You, you could play with chess? that chess board that I have that is yes. made out of shot glasses. Yes. <laughs> I have olive wood. I have uh, olive wood from Israel chess set back nice. here. Nice. Um, I have a Mario wood, chess set at home that I gave my son. There you Sweet. go. I want a little bit. So and I beat, I beat him. I don't know how to play chess. Everybody has a chess set. That's right. I actually beat him the other day. He asked me if I'd play chess with him. I said, sure. And then I beat her all the time. My like, good game, Dad. I was like, good game, bro. My dad had one of those electronic um, chess boards that if you press, you would oh, play yeah. against the computer. Of the course, wizard, we're talking the, the 19th. So, the, yeah. Right, where you'd press down to say, this is my move. You'd click where it started. Right. And, then that, and then the computer would tell you what its move would be. Yep. Right. And I played that until I broke it. Nice. And then finally it wouldn't work anymore because Lord knows how old it was. Well, that's what but... happens when you smash it against the floor. But you keep losing. <laughs> no, that was Chris. That's I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not what you should have There's done. a reason why your Monopoly set's missing six houses. <laughs> you table flip it 900 times, you're bound to lose some pieces. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. You know what the, re you know what the reason is? Oh, <laughs> that's another reason, definitely. The three year old wanted to play. Those weird intrusive thoughts that you have, and you go, I wonder what that tastes well, like. That's what happens when you play Mancala. You're saying, yeah, yeah. That looks so <laughs> I'm going to eat this shiny <laughs> beef. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yep. my goodness. You want to also right. hear a funny fact about Mancala? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Nobody uh, got to a point where nobody would ever play with me, and that is one of the only competitive games that I would play because I would always win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we got to play Mancala. I love it. I'll play man. Come on, competitive game. Mommy child will play. We've got to play it on here now. Okay, people. My mom's yeah. I, although I haven't played it in years. I love that it's game. So funny. You can teach us how to play Moncala because I actually don't think I remember. I own a Moncala. There are a variety of rules. Is the thing. So. I don't, I don't want to play. I won't win. Uh, oh, da, 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 da. I kid. I kid. Uh, I know I won't win, but I'll still play. I, still play. Yeah, I, <laughs> ideas. I played it. Ideas. Um, anyways, Don, take us home. Still trying to. Toss Don under the bus. So out. here's what I'm going to say. Climb under the bus, Don. I'm going to have uh, an Avital moment and say it's real tough for me to choose a favorite. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing games since I was probably eight. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's a lot of games. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of games. Mm. Um, I love that yes. He Man game, by the <laughs> way. Oh, game. oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Hero Quest. Oh. Um, so. <sighs> Imagine if. I have to tell you. Here. No, hang on. Hang on. Payday. <laughs> Let him talk. Let me finish. <laughs> Let him cook. So, I have to say that the only reason it's my favorite is because it was literally the doorway that got me into the gaming genre that I have been able to celebrate for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it was 100% Hero Quest. Yeah, that game is good. Oh, I played a lot of it too. Nice. I did not So yeah. here's what's yeah. crazy about I this. I did not I did not realize what the game was called. 
Oh, mm-hmm. yeah? Until I saw a copy of the original game at Half Price Books about six months ago. Oh. And I picked it up, and I was like, I know this box. Oh. And I flipped it over, and I saw the layout of the board, and I went, geez, oh, Pete, this was the game that my brother and I played with my uncle. It's one of the only games that we would actually sit through. And he always played the dungeon master. Yes. And we always played the characters. Placing and goblins it, it's and essentially and dragons. And it's, traps. Yes. It's essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. a board game uh, dungeon. dungeon that you pick a character and you get one of the coolest things. Still one of my biggest memories when it comes to this, like when you would get scrolls and spells, they would be cards. They would hand you yeah. cards yeah. 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 and yeah. it would have the level of the spell yep. and what the spell did. Yep. And you just played the card when you were fighting like the scorpion monster yep. and stuff like that. Mm. And I was like, I remember <laughs> playing this game with my uncle. And it's probably one of the few memories, not my uncle's not a bad guy or anything like that, but it's one of the few memories that I think back and I go, man, that was a really cool time with my uncle. Why you hit me? Hero Quest is awesome. I have to say that Hero Quest is probably my favorite for that specific reason. Mm-hmm. But my favorite game to play with people growing up was the game of life. Oh, nice. mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know what it is about that game. Yes. Yeah, I mean, dumbest thing yeah. in the world. Oh, it's, it's so great, though. It's I so great. love that. I love, and I almost said Monopoly. My dad's life game I almost said parents. Monopoly. Nice. That's yeah. like Monopoly, Monopoly is not yeah. my favorite my game. But it's Bonnie's. But it's, gonna lose it's my wife's game. favorite no. game. I know. What's but that? You know what? We're all going to lose that game. Yeah. We keep on playing it. Um, no, the game of life. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. You're, or are you going to win? That's the real question. <laughs> Immortality oh. for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not winning. That uh, mansion at the end. Uh, oh, that mansion at the end. Depends on your definition of winning. Exactly. <laughs> oh, we all go back to definitions. Uh, I almost said Monopoly because Monopoly is my wife's favorite board game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I can tell you that I've never had more joy in my entire life of board gaming than the first time I beat my wife. In Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Uh, I said in Monopoly, beat my wife in Monopoly. Yes. Yay! Uh, I can tell. I legitimately. That was what I was. I was like, I. I love playing board games, and I've won several board games. I've been very excited. Never once have I been more excited <laughs> than to win at a game of Monopoly versus my wife, who is an insanely good Monopoly. I, I had that moment with Deb with Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. 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 It's oh, really? just like, yes, I feel accomplished. Yes. And you're like, babe, that yeah. was a great game. And then they're just seething. <laughs> and Allow like, me. No, we'll play again and I'll lose now 900 times in a row. But I will always have this one. But you beat me. I will one. always have this one. <laughs> but so, you beat you know, one. I did that with That's my right. friend Mac when and Chess. Oh. Actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah time. Yes, Lance. That's why Chess is my favorite because my dad made me play at the age of three. Yes. On, and I've only ever beaten him twice. And once was in, when he was in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and for those of you who may not have heard Lance very well, he said that that's why chess is his favorite game because he can remember playing his dad since he how old did you say you were? Th- three. 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 Uh, uh, playing chess with him for years, and he's only he only got a chance to beat him two times in his life, and yeah, that's pretty cool. And I, Lance, is that the same story or a similar story to when you beat him and you just like got emotionally upset about it? Mm-hmm. Like, and Bonnie has a very similar story. Like, the first time she beat her dad in Monopoly, mm-hmm. she wept because she was like, This is like, mm-hmm. I can't ever beat my dad. Like, right. my dad's the best person at this game. Like, it's yeah. you becoming you, master, right? Someone that you held as the highest, right? Yeah, when the student finally surpasses right. the master for that one, and then of course, they very crap. quickly, they yeah, they beat the crap out of you for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, so life. like, but, uh, so yeah. my friend Mac, right? We did that. I did that. He's so good at chess. Yeah. And I've beaten him once in my life, and this was back in like 1998. And I've never played him again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold this over your head. It's like the nope. rest of your life. The last, the last game we played, played, I won. I beat you. I won. <laughs> I beat you. I won. Yeah. Do you remember That's the hilarious. last time we time played? We played it? <laughs> yeah, Piercy, 25 <laughs> years ago. ago. Yeah, you won't beat me again. I was like, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's why I haven't played you again. <laughs> That's the same reason why. Um, one of my favorite games to play video games was a Mario Kart 64. Yeah. Because oh, every once in a while, yes. I could beat my brother. You uh-huh. Your brother is right. really good at Mario Kart. Right. Yeah. Oh, He's really good at Mario yeah. Kart. I, yeah. I mean, nice. I, like, I only occasionally it. beat him. And, you know, I, I couldn't Mario beat him Kart. now because I haven't played in 
years, years but we right. would play a lot and every once in a while i would beat him there you go mm -hmm. there you go like, okay all right all right, all right i totally all right. get that all right <laughs> well uh thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for episode 250 i know that it was a very chaotic mess in the beginning but that's i mean that's literally what we've been for mm -hmm. 12 years and 250 episodes is a chaotic mess that just loves to hang out with our friends, sit at a table, talk about things that we're passionate about. Uh, I hope that you had a good time with us. Um, let us know what your favorite games are. Uh, maybe what your favorite episodes, if you've gotten a chance to listen to a few, if you haven't go back and listen to some that, that, you know, the thumbnail or the title looks interesting and tell us what you thought. Um, You'll hear voices uh, go you back. may not recognize on there. That's true. So. That is true. Uh, go back and listen to the original alignment episode because I feel like that's going to be... Episodes, remember, it was nine. It was yeah, close. that's right. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think it was actually ten because I think we did our first episode discuss what alignments oh, were and then right. we talked about the yep. actual It was alignments. a long series. Personality types, and then we also did classes and things like. that. I was there for the classes. I remember yeah, that. That mm -hmm. was a good. That was a good series too. We'll, that's we'll, hard we'll to play choose. with all of those. Uh, just go in and listen to all of them. It'd be worth Let us revisiting. know what you think. Uh, anyhow, 2.0. <clears throat> on episode 248 of the Established Facts, because I believe two episode episode 249 is a compilation episode. Is that yes, right? Or, it's a collection yes. of the interviews we did at PopCon, which you've probably seen the shorts of, right. but we put mm -hmm. them all in one yeah. package as well. We had such a good time. Yeah, it. absolutely. It was, it was and a really fun time. Put that it on your calendar for so April tiring. next year. Um, it's going to be a really good time, and we're going to do some more fun stuff with that. So... Uh, yeah, I think we were all pretty beat. And I know uh, Avital was at our table for the whole weekend. Busting I know part of the reason why I was so tired is because you guys were gone all Saturday. Yep. We learned a lot. I also did an interview. Yeah. You yeah. did an interview. Right. Did. Yeah. Great interview. Like right. yeah. that is, to me, that was a difference. That's why I didn't go interview because I was like, is it, I love Tracy Hickman. Yeah, I, do right. love, I do love that man and talking with him. But that Michael McChill interview was really good. There you go. Awesome. And that's why I was like, I, I can't pick one of those. <laughs> pick <laughs> there one. There's go. too many. But, I mean, we we were gone uh, because we were running the NeverEnding Dungeon. We did raise a little over $1,000. We did. Successful, yeah. It was a successful campaign. Uh, if you're looking for ways to help out with that, we are going to do it again in April. Yes. Um, we may modify how we run, run it. Yes. I know that's conversation <laughs> being had. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think we're just going to – I think the biggest modification is we're talking about just chunking it up. Yeah, for bit, different people to go in and be able to run. That way, we can also relieve people at the yes. table and stuff. Like uh, that. With that said, find anyone you know that's doing extra life uh, for 2023 and yeah. go there and support them. I know. Yeah, that, please uh, do. People are doing streams all throughout the year uh, and different things. I've got, even got a coworker I know of that's doing one. I believe in October, so okay. I can try to share it on our page when I'm yeah, available. Yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. All right, so uh, on episode 248 of the Established Facts, uh, we established. That conventions plant seeds for great relationships, and Walmart parking lots are the fertilizer that they grow in. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good one. That was the at con episode, right? That was at mm -hmm. the at yeah. con. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we talked about convention relationships mm -hmm. and things like that. It was a good time. Uh, and for episode 250 of the established facts, you already know what it is. Yep. Every podcast. <laughs> Needs a Joshy. Needs a Josh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. That guy. Thank you guys yeah. so much yeah. for 250 plus episodes, 12 years of uh, fun. And uh, we will check you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>